Hi guys, this is Loser King 7 here, and I am not making a tutorial. This is basically just showing you guys how I am going to be remastering my old videos in HD. Well, using Sony Vegas, you click File, then New. You guys can pause the video to see exactly what specifications is HD, but here's a quick rundown. 720 is 1280 by 720 HD, and I keep the frame rate at 59.940. And a very important thing, guys, you cannot take a video file file that is not in HD and put it in Sony Vegas thinking it will render it in HD. That's not how it works. It really is a pet peeve of mine when people do this because people are putting out a video that they're saying is in HD when it truly isn't HD. It's just a 480 video. In order for me to make the video in HD, I'm going to have to actually take the pictures that I had when I actually made the original animation. Yes, I still have them. Reason for this is because the video file I had originally is going to be way smaller than the original pictures itself. Now that we have that out of the way, if you've already seen my stop motion tutorial video, it tells you how to make every picture the same speed. You could go check that out if you remember. But putting the pictures in Sony Vegas, I already have the pictures to be a little bit sharper image than they would be in my original file, but we have to get rid of those two black bars. Before I got a camera that could shoot pictures in 16x9, I was taking pictures in 4x3, if you remember from the stop motion tutorial. So this is a 4x3 picture. One way of getting rid of the black bars is by stretching your picture out to be in widescreen. In order to do this, you right click an image, you click on switches, and then you uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now I do this for all images. A fast way to speed up the process is holding down the control button and then left clicking every image before right clicking them. Once they're all selected, I will right click them, then click on switches and maintain aspect ratio. When remastering the Rubik's Cube animation though, I had a slight problem that when I stretched out the pictures, the cube looked too fat. Now even though the wrestlers do get stretched out and they kind of look a little bit more fatter than they should be, it really isn't that much of a difference or a problem. Whereas the Rubik's Cube, you know, it needs to be square. So in order to fix this, I actually did a different way of remastering the video. On the actual video track, you click on the second picture icon, it should say track motion. You click on that. Here I could adjust where the video is going to be focused on so I will focus on the cube. You can't really do this with the wrestlers though because they'll end up cutting off their heads and taking out parts that are important in the video. Remember, and once you're done, you go up to File, then Render As to finish. I will have my rendering settings and template settings in the description below if you want to look at that. And if you guys haven't already seen it, you could check out the official LKS Stop Motion tutorial. You could click the video icon below to check it out. Also, yesterday I uploaded HD animation number 8 if you haven't seen it. And tomorrow I should be uploading the official LKS Rubik's Cube remastered video. And if you guys aren't in the mood for any of those videos, then maybe you could click on the question mark below. And I'll take you to some random video, you know, go on a quest and see what kind of random video you guys are going to check out. Thanks guys, follow me on Twitter at LoserKings007. Thank Thank you for watching and remember to take care and spike your hair.